At 8.30 this morning, we received news from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center that a tsunami warning had been issued for the state of Hawaii. The tsunami was triggered by a 9.0 magnitude earthquake that occurred off the coast of Alaska. Hawaii residents can expect the tsunami to make landfall at 12.13 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to evacuate coastal areas and move to higher ground. Earlier this morning, Governor Colin Moore held an emergency press conference with his panel of experts. Here's what he had to say. Aloha. As you know, we have a serious situation involving the entire state with the approaching tsunami. I've gathered here today a team of my experts to explain the situation and to describe how everyone can remain safe. There is no reason for anyone to be hurt in the tsunami as long as you listen to the experts and follow their advice. Uh, my staff are following all developments. Um, and I would encourage you to simply stay calm and follow the instructions of these experts. And I'll turn it over to, th to them right now, uh, Mr. Richards. Thank you, Governor. I, I, I'm actually director of civil defense here in the state, and I wanted to give you a reassurance or reassurance the public uh, that we are doing everything we can to prepare for this. Currently, my EOC is open. We are now staffing it up with uh, all our liaison people as well as the staff. We're prepared to do what we have to do. Uh, the governor has put out a proclamation, I understand, and uh, we are now acting on that. We are looking at the resources that are available to us, putting them in the status of readiness, and then we're also surveying all our critical infrastructure to ensure that we're doing everything that we possibly can to ensure the safety of the public. With less than two hours until the initial impact, Bianca Smallwood has more information on the evacuation. Keon, while no injuries or deaths are expected, experts from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center say that everyone should take this warning seriously. Unlike uh, 2010 and, and 2012, the, the, uh, the, the tsunamis from Chile and from Canada, um, we know this is a big tsunami. We, you know, regardless of what happens, there's going to be significant coastal damage all around the state. We know that already. So this is for real. People located in the red or yellow zones of the map are advised to evacuate immediately, while those in a safe zone should stay put to avoid adding to traffic congestion. Further information advises that people do not approach the shore, evacuate to higher ground, do not stop for gas or supplies, and be alert to emergency communication. The Red Cross also says to make sure you have water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, a radio, first aid kit, and copies of your family's personal documents in case of water damage. We also spoke to Denise Conan, Director of the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism, who said that all flights will be canceled. There may be damage to the airports and uh, infrastructure, core infrastructure. Uh, we don't anticipate uh, being able to open up airways for at least a couple of days. She also said that DBET will be deploying multilingual agents to help visitors with the evacuation. We'll keep you updated as more news comes in. Keon, back to you. Thank you, Bianca. And now we go to Claire Lawler with the weather. The sun may be out, but we are expecting the tsunami to hit. The first wave is expected to hit Kauai around 12, 13 p.m. and go down the island chain. Waves are expected to be as high as 30 feet and last up to 15 minutes. Here's footage of the 1946 tsunami that hit Hilo, killing nearly 160 people. This earthquake had a magnitude of an 8.6 and caused nearly 26 million in damages. Experts are expecting today's tsunami to have nearly the same impact and flood all coastal lines. Stay tuned for more information from the experts. Back to the live desk. We advise you to stay calm and to avoid stopping for gas and supplies. Evacuate to a safe zone or go to higher ground. The first wave will hit the state of Hawaii at 12.13 p.m. and will flood all coastal areas. Thank you for watching and stay safe. For ABC News, I'm Keon Diego.